Do you know that 2 billion of people worldwide live with hypertension? Do you know that 50%, which is 1 billion of people worldwide living with hypertension, don't even know that they have the condition? Do you remember the last time you had your blood pressure checked? Do you remember what was the reading at that time? If your answer is no to one of these questions, maybe you should have your blood pressure checked today because you might be at risk. In fact, hypertension or high blood pressure is a very serious medical condition that significantly increases your risk of developing heart disease, stroke, kidney disease, eye disease, and many others. Because hypertension is a major cause of dying slowly and suddenly at early ages worldwide. In this video, we are going to talk about what normal blood pressure, what blood pressure, and why it's high blood pressure or hypertension. If not already subscribed to our channel, before we start, remember to subscribe to our channel and activate the notification clock for better and fast access to more content. Also, do not forget to like and share our videos with friends. I'm Eric Mutala, I'm a medical doctor. This channel is aimed to deliver information that promotes health and holistic health care. Wow! Also, uh, lifestyle safety tips. All the information provided on this channel is tailored for comprehensive holistic health care or educational purposes. Let's go. The blood pressure is the blood is the pressure of or the force exerted by circulating blood against the walls of the body at risk, the major blood vessels in the body. Hypertension is when that blood pressure is too high. When you get blood pressure checked, you will see two numbers written. The first number is called systolic blood pressure. The second is called diastolic blood pressure. The systolic number represents the pressure in your blood vessels when your heart contracts or beats. And the second number represents the pressure in your blood vessels when your heart relaxes or rests between beat. According to the World Health Organization, you have normal blood pressure when your systolic blood pressure is less than 140 and your diastolic blood pressure is less than 90. That said, hypertension or high blood pressure is when your first number of blood pressure, also called systolic blood pressure, is greater than 140. And the second number, also, blood, also called diastolic blood pressure, as mentioned previously, is lower, is above 90. If these numbers increase, your risk of developing hypertension related complications such as heart disease, stroke, eye disease, kidney disease, and so on. Many studies have shown that the risk of developing such complications starts appearing even at lower blood pressures but not in the same proportion and significance. That's why the American Heart Association works with slightly different numbers to define high blood pressure. In fact, the American Heart Association states the following. Normal blood pressure is when your blood pressure is less than 120 uh, for the systolic blood pressure and uh, diastolic less than 180, less than 80, sorry. Elevated blood pressure is when your blood pressure is uh, 120 to 129 for the systolic and, uh, one, and less than 80 for the diastolic. High blood pressure or hypertension stage 1 is when the blood pressure for the systolic is between 130 and 139 or the diastolic is between 80 and 89. High blood pressure or hypertension stage 2 is when your blood pressure is above, is between 140 or higher or 90 or higher. Remember that hypertension stage 2 for the American Heart Association is consistent with the normal definition for hypertension for the World Health Organization. About the systolic blood pressure and 110 for diastolic blood pressure, we talk about severe hypertension. A special mention being for hypertensive crisis where the blood pressure for the systolic is greater than 180 and the and greater than 120 for the systolic blood pressure. Risk factors for developing hypertension are classified as follows. We have modified both risk factors, which are unhealthy diet, which consists of excessive salt consumption, a diet high in saturated fat or trans fat, low intake of fruit and vegetables, poor hydration, tobacco use, excessive alcohol consumption, 
chronic stress, so on. Which recipes are rich in saturated fat, trans fat? We are going to talk about that in the next videos. Physical inactivity, or so-called sedentarity, is also a risk factor. Being overweight or obese can also predispose, predispose you to develop hypertension. Non-modifiable risk factors are family history of hypertension, coexisting disease such as diabetes or kidney disease, age above 65, but no matter your age, you can still develop hypertension and you can make steps each day to keep your blood pressure in a healthy range. Why not? Thank you for watching this video on hypertension. Again, remember to subscribe and activate the notification clock to, be, to access our videos on the same topic. Also, remember to like and share our content with friends. Our next episode will be about prevention and treatment of hypertension. Thank you. See you then.